outside. Male is higher than male. Male is higher than female. There is no ordering here in the option. And there is no ranking as well. We cannot say yes, yes was for A, no was for B. Just to remind you all again that a physical class, students should not take uh, yeah, two times per week. Thank you. Only the first three rows allowed. Actually, the first three rows. Okay, there is no ranking, no ordering, right? You can just switch the no with the yes, the yes with the no. You can put the strange in front, you put Iron Man in the middle. No worries with nominal. But you can also use the counts or frequency of distribution to present or visualize your data. For all dinner, when you have a question, for all dinner type of measurement level, we are going to have order and also ranking from top to the bottom or from the bottom to the top. There is a difference of level in between here. This slide, if you put it, if you, if you allocate the numbering, very much you might score five marks, five, four, three, two, for example, or sorry, four, three, two, one. You might have numbering to represent the intensity of each of these options under ordinal. Both nominal and, and both nominal and ordinal fall under discrete. Discrete means we have a, an actual category. We have actual category and there is no 0 0.5 or 0 0.1 in between each category. That's not discrete. Whereas for continuous, we can have 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 2, 0 0.4, 9. That is called measurement with continuous feature under interval. Oh, sorry, we have interval and ratio. Here. So nominal, you don't see if there's a clear cut in between this category. There's no 0 0.5 or the 0 0.1.5. If you represent this in your data set, you can represent this as one for male, two for female, but you cannot have an answer of 1.5. What does it mean? Non male, non female, in between male and female, we don't have that value under discrete measurement level. Very clear cut. Same applies to all below. We do not have 1.5 or 0 0.5 measurement. Everything is clear cut. 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's move on to the continuous measurement. Continuous, we have two different types of measurement level. First, interval. Interval, the, rank, um, the option or the, the answer for the, the interval question. Present ordering, ranking, calculation, but zero is minimum. It's arbitrary, it's confusing. So, interval versus ratio, we have interval versus ratio here. The only difference is that interval, we do not have a clear meaning of zero. Zero doesn't mean zero, but ratio, zero really means zero. Let's take a look at one very, very clear example, which is your temperature, oh, sorry, your IQ. IQ and temperature are two very obvious examples. When you say your IQ is 160 plus, means you're very careful, very intelligent, right? What does it mean by IQ with zero measurement? IQ of zero measurement IQ means what? Stupid. Uh, no knowledge at all. Oh, this person cannot think at all. This is not a person. It's a plant. It's an animal. Animal can think as well. Right? Even with your special child that we have, special child, they know how to do something, right? But when you test by using this measurement, they don't know how to answer anything. So they score zero. Means what? They have no intelligence at all. They have no intelligence at all. No, intelligence, if you look at artificial intelligence, have you studied artificial intelligence before? Or you come across this book before, artificial intelligence. How does artificial intelligence come? Artificial intelligence, how do we create from the very beginning? Any idea? You train the data. You train the data. You train the machine by using data. To me, artificial intelligence, the source of artificial intelligence is point zero. Computer only know one zero, right? That's the most basic thing. One zero. Zero one. You know what it means by zero zero one? Zero zero one. What do you mean by zero 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 one? One? Zero 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 one zero? Zero 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 one one. You learn this? You learn this, right? Zero zero one, zero zero one zero. So what is zero zero one one? What does it mean by zero zero one one? Three, you are right. You still remember that your hash and function. Yeah. Zero zero one means one. Zero zero one zero means two. Zero zero one one means three. So they all started with this. Artificial intelligence is trying to imitate how how people's brain is working, right? So we are using our own experience to train the machine to think like us. Imagine if let's say the machine, a new machine, you didn't train with anything. Does it have zero intelligence? IQ. That machine IQ is zero. That machine IQ is zero. So there is no definite definition of zero IQ. Because nothing itself, if you train machine 
thing to work, the robot, if you don't know, I train them to work, they don't know how to work, right? When you look at the stupid or the most stupid child, special child, they can walk. They know how to walk, right? They know how to eat. Someone please mute your mic. So zero IQ doesn't mean that it's really zero intelligence for information. Now we come to another example which is temperature. When you say the temperature now outside is 32 degrees Celsius, uh, I'm talking about Celsius, and inside this lecture hall is 16 degrees Celsius, what does it mean by zero Celsius? Zero degree Celsius means what? Freezing? Freezing point? Cold? Is that the coolest point? Zero degree Celsius. No, it's not, right? So the zero meaning means what? It doesn't mean it's the lowest. It doesn't mean the coolest. It just brings a degree of... Unless... You are using this Fahrenheit. You know Fahrenheit? Oh. Fahrenheit, if you have zero Fahrenheit, that is the definite zero, the coolest that you have. So degree Celsius, Celsius itself is not zero Celsius is not the definite um, definite meaning of a temperature. It belongs to uh, interval. Fahrenheit belongs to ratio. Ratio means zero, they bring a definite um, meaning. Zero brings definite meaning. Okay, that's the difference between interval and uh, ratio. For example, what is your daughter's current height? We can have many different heights, right? We can have many different heights, but then you cannot have a height called negative something, right? We can have negative degrees Celsius but not the height. Height zero height means what? No height ah. <laughs> non human. No height at all. What is your weight in kg? Zero means what? No weight. Right? But zero degree you cannot say there is no no temperature. Right? Zero IQ you cannot say this person has zero IQ, no intelligence at all. No. And therefore, IQ, degree, Celsius belong to interval. Okay, this is another example of ordinal. How happy are you with the end, ending of the end game? There is a ranking here from very unhappy to very happy. Would you recommend end game to your friends? And then very likely, extremely uh, unlikely. This is also called as five level little skill measurement skill which we will see the end of the slide and you will need to use this in your FYP instead of using this instead of using yes and no instead of using yes and no please try your best to use five level of little skill to represent accurately the data to represent accurately the feeling or the opinion of someone okay how to differentiate yeah this is the differences between the four measurement level nominal ordinal interval and ratio okay all are level with item with name uh, nominal there is no order you cannot put no, no, in, I mean, if you can put yes in front of no, no in front of yes, then so it is not ordered. But the rest is ordered. Okay. Can you know the difference in between? Now, yes and no, you cannot do calculation like yes is one, no is two. And then two minus one equals to what? It brings no meaning now when you do this calculation. But in the more and ratio, yes. What is your height? 75 kg. And what is your friend's height? 70 kg minus the difference is 5. Ratio, you can do this calculation as well and it brings 
meaning. Then for zero, zero is um, not applicable to nominal. Ordinal, yes. Like for example, uh, have you watched this then? No. Zero, meaning zero. Means I, I didn't watch that at all. Zero. But for interval and ratio, okay. Um, for interval and ratio, oh, sorry. For ordinal, when we say zero, still, yes, zero bring definite meaning, but calculation is not applicable. So there is no, there is no so called um, definite value that we can put to this uh, category of zero. So ordinal, we don't. We don't calculate on zero as long as it is uh, what is that calculation nominal and ordinal is not um, applicable these two categories are not applicable but for interval and ratio yes okay interval and ratio for interval it is uh, ambiguous confusing right ratio it is not confusing it brings the real no meaning. When you have no, it brings the real no meaning. Classify the following as quality or quantitative measurement, then set the level of measurement. Okay, the eye color, we have this uh, quantitative quantitative measurement and four category, and therefore this is under which level of measurement. We have four level of measurement: nominal, ordinal, interval, ratio. So this belong to which category? Nominal, ordinal, ratio, or ah oh, sorry, interval or ratio? Nominal. Correct. Thank you very much, Winston. Rating scale for the level of measurement. Ordinal. Yes. Correct. SCT score. SCT score is actually the numbers. Oh, sorry, the uh, scores. Like your exam is this is from one of the exam scores. Interval. Uh, zero means you score zero marks in this exam. Ratio. Okay. Say it's ratio score. Uh, if you score zero marks, means what? If you score the zero marks in yeah, if you score the zero marks in your OOAD, means what? In your exam, you score zero marks, means what? That's it. Fell, someone said fell. Oh, sorry. You, you retake the object. Doesn't mean that um, you do not have any knowledge in OOAD at all. No. If it brings, uh, if it brings uh, ambiguous, confusing meaning, there is no exact meaning, then it should be very sure. But if let's say that score, this is just like your IQ score, right? If your IQ score is zero, doesn't mean that you don't know something exactly. Salary. Salary. Is that nominal or denominal? In the four ratio. Ratio, yes. Because zero brings definite meaning. You don't have any salary income at all. H. Ratio zero H means what? Newborn. 
not born yet. No. Newborn is still like one month, two months, or three months, right? One day newborn. So zero age doesn't mean that it's it's a non-living creature. Right? H equals to zero doesn't mean it's a non-living creature. So it should be interval. Ranking of high school football team in Muslim. Oh, we know. Yes, correct. National, Malaysia, Singaporean, Filipino, Indonesian. No, we know. Yeah, there is no ranking. Yeah, no ranking for nationality. Temperature, if it is in Fahrenheit, if it is in Fahrenheit, F, Fahrenheit is ratio. If it is degree Celsius, if it is degree Celsius, interval, yes. Five two zero 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 five two zero zero zero. It's one zero five two. Zip code. Zip code is nominal. Zip code is nominal. We cannot do calculation on zip code. Like for example, um, seven eight zero 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 Milai, seven eight zero 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 Milai, and here five three three zero zero. Can we do calculation like minus? And there is a difference of one thousand two hundred. Means what? Zip code difference one thousand two hundred. It brings no meanings, right? So it cannot be interval. Cannot be ratio. And there is no ranking. Any ranking here? Uh, any ranking? There is no ranking. We cannot say 71800 is higher than 53300. No, we cannot say that. There is no order, no ranking. And therefore, it belongs to nominal. Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nominal. Nominal. They, they categorize this region under 52000, right? Yeah. But it doesn't mean that 53300 is higher than 52000. Can you say that? Very, very dangerous to say. Very political if you say 71800 is higher than, you know? <laughs> then you'll be shoot. Political. Okay, nominal classify the following again, nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. Both older, like you are the eldest, you are the youngest. So this one definitely is. <coughs> what is this? Nominal. There is a ranking. I'm the eldest, I'm the youngest. I'm the second. That is under ordinal, correct? Ordinal. Number of teeth? Ratio? If you have zero teeth, means no teeth. But this is arguable as well because for young kids, if you apply this to young kids, like primary school and secondary school, zero doesn't mean that there is no teeth because that is their first set of teeth. They not get the permanent teeth. Not get the permanent teeth. Even though if you don't see anything in baby, actually the teeth are hidden inside. There are still some teeth. Um, it can be ratio if you included the hidden teeth. If you are counting those that are visible, then it is interval. Zero bring confusing meaning. But you are looking at the X-ray. Have you done X-ray before? X-ray your mouth, you'll be able to see all the hidden teeth inside. 
So if let's say you're looking at the X-ray and counting the number of days, that is where it should. The tail length. Okay, say uh, let's give a very um, definite definition. Let's say we want to measure monkey tail length. Nominal or you know interval ratio. Ratio zero means no tail at all. Ratio. Area of inhibited growth. This is applicable to like um say for example we have biological um bacteria that we want to, you know, all this uh perform what is that? You do this experiment, you put this bacteria and let it grow, and then you measure the area of inhibited growth. Does zero bring any definite meaning? Mm. Size of an area of growth, right? That is uh, definitely under interval and ratio, right? Interval and ratio, but then the um, zero, we're looking at the meaning of zero. Is there any definite meaning of zero here? There is no inhibitor growth at all, so you don't see anything. Oh, if it is clear, then definitely there's zero. It means means zero. There's no area of there's no growth at all. If there is a definite definition, then it's counted. Sure. Okay, species. Um, so for example, we are counting the different species of monkey, uh, lab monkey, just who visited the zoo last year, a few times. Different species. Hmm? Oh, um, we are looking at different category of species of monkey. Hmm. Nominal, there is no ordering. Major, what is your major? Biology, sociology, computer science, nominal. Or oh, suddenly this uh, online people wake up. <laughs> nominal, correct. Thank you very much. Ash, military ranking. Oh, you see this ranking, so definitely you know too. Ordinal, yes. Okay, uh, let's see question. What type of measurement scale can be used to measure the above um, item? This is a questionnaire question. Your work type is it a full time or part time? You can just below to which skill. Um, sorry, which measurement level? It should be measurement level. Hey, no, me no. Yeah, all of them answer A. Correct, no, me no. Uh, how about the second one? What type of measurement scale can be used to measure number of students in a faculty? Pressure, right, yeah? Because zero student means no student. You cannot have a negative one student. What does it mean? Huh? There's a ghost. Negative <laughs> one passed away, but still left. Okay. Let's move on to the last section in chapter 5, and that will be our last topic today. Measurement skill, uh, attitude, attitude, attitudinal skill. This is created by these three guys very long, 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 long time ago. Okay, summarize, summarize, rating, differential skill, and cumulative skill. Summarize skill, the liquid skill is the most uh, commonly used measurement skill to measure our attitude, our opinion. Say for example, how likely you are to attend 8 a.m. class of your attitude. I don't want to. Don't to die. I hate you, SOTS. I hate your buffet. It's not me. It's a measure <laughs> red sheet. <laughs> The likelihood, the likelihood, like it or not, to measure your attitude. Okay, let's take a look at each one of those. So you have this five little skill like strongly disagree, disagree, neutral agree, and strongly agree. Please use this standard skill. Don't create your own skill. Like for example, 
strong uh, disagree. Oh, you don't put strong, not agree. Not agree. I don't know. I agree. Strong agree. Don't change the name of the skill. Use the standardized one. Strongly disagree, disagree, also agree and strongly agree. Okay. Or for happiness, are you happy? Not at all happy. Not very happy. Also happy, very happy. This is much better than yes and no. Do you do you agree to have class? Students should come here at eight o'clock. Yes and no. Yes and no is too limited to express your real and true opinion. Yes and no too big category. We want detailed data, so we split it from two yes and no. We split it into strongly disagree, disagree, also agree, strongly agree. Five category more accurate. The next measurement skill is called um, differential skill from Thurston skill. Differential skill is just like your required liquid skill, but they are more detailed. They are more detailed from extremely to extremely. Extremely no to extremely yes, and they give a skill from 1 to 10 or 1 to 11, 12, for example. So in this case, you have more option as compared to the previous one, this one. This is only five option, and this is better than yes and no. Yes and no, only two categories. This one, you have five categories, but this one, you have more than two differential skill. And the last measurement skill, educational skill, is called cumulative skill. And this is a little bit complicated. Okay, uh, can we take a two minutes break and let me know who is excellent? <laughs> Uh, who is missing? Uh? I mean, which group is missing? RSW group 2, RS456, RSW group 2, RDI.
Thank you. 